Exactly. All right. Good morning. It's still morning. Yes. Good morning. It's not morning. It's good afternoon. <laughs> All right. Correction number one. Let's no more morning. Good afternoon and welcome to today's hearing. My name is Andrew Cohen and I am the chair of the Committee on State and Federal uh, Legislation. On today's agenda, we will be considering two state legislative resolutions. First, I'd like to introduce the members of the committee and we have a full house, Karen Kozlowitz, Robert Cornegie, Raphael Espinal, and Andy King. The first state legislative resolution this committee will be considering and voting on today is Senate Bill S-5246A and Assembly Bill A-7716A. This bill is an act to amend the general municipal law in relation to disabilities of certain retired firefighters caused by cancer. This bill seeks to provide parity for members of the FDNY to other fire departments across the state of New York by providing a five-year look-back window for retirees who are diagnosed with lymphatic, digestive, hematological, urinary, neurological, breast, reproductive, or prostate cancer, or melanoma, with the same presumption of evidence for disability benefits. The final bill this committee will be considering and voting on today is Senate Bill S-5903A and Assembly Bill A-7620A. This bill an act to amend the general municipal law in relation to allowing certain members of the New York City Police Pension Fund to receive membership, a membership date in the New York City Police Pension Fund attributable to service in the titles of Police Cadet Program or Police Cadet Program 2 in the New York City Police Department Cadet Program. Members of the New York City Cadet Corps are eligible to join the New York City Employee Retirement System. Cadets that served prior to 2012 were unfairly denied the opportunity to join NICERS when they served in the Cadet Corps. As a result, these cadets not only lost out on the opportunity to receive pension credit, but those who went on to become police officers after July 1, 2009 were denied the opportunity to become Tier 2 members of the police pension system and instead were placed in either Tier 3 or Tier 3R of that pension system, both of which provide reduced benefits. This legislation seeks to correct this inequity. Uh, at this moment, I'd like to open the committee meeting to any of our members who would like to make a statement. Please, Council. I was gonna reserve it to, to um, explaining my vote, but thank you for the opportunity. I think that I am so um, happy and pleased to be a part of a body that would prioritize the needs of our uh, uniformed officers, um, both the firefighters, this is a, a long time coming, um, and the cadet bill. This, this demonstrates our commitment to making sure that there's parity um, for people who put themselves in harm's way every single day, both the fire department and both the police department. So I'm happy to be able to vote today in favor of these bills. And again, it's a long time coming. I wanna thank the chair. I wanna thank the speaker for prioritizing this. I think that is a, this is a very important demonstration of our commitment to our uniformed uh, uh, workforce in the city of New York. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Anybody else? All right. At this time, I'm going to, uh, well, I guess I'm going to open the hearing to any witnesses who wish to testify on behalf of the home rule messages today. We don't have anybody who signed up, right? No. Going once, going twice. All right. All right. So with that, I'm going to ask uh, Billy Martin to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on state and federal legislation. Both the items are coupled. Chair Cohen. I vote aye. Cornegie. Espinal. I vote aye. Kozlowitz. Happily vote aye. King. Congratulations and I vote aye. By vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. This concludes this hearing. <laughs>